play we'll play games that are like 10 to 30 minutes on this uh, this uh, series. Welcome <laughs> all you little bees out there <laughs> because we are here at the Drunken Pond again. I'm Steven this is Maurice and there's Basil and as always Teresa behind the camera. Teresa! Uh, the queen bee if you will. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> But anyway, I don't, nobody knows what that was. It's fine. <laughs> but we are here to play another game for you. This is another half pint. Uh, this is a very quick game. Um, it's a uh, less than thirty minutes. So, uh, we'll. Uh, this is called bees. Uh, bees. Bees with a Z. You want to hold up that? Yeah. Bees. Bees <laughs> with a Z. So there's that. We're playing that today by Dan Halstad. Halstad. Um, the company is Next Move. So I'll have all that in the description below. So if you want to check out Next Move, see what else they've done. I don't, I don't know what else they've done. I, I, I found We found this at uh, Epic Loot in Centerville. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looked fun. So I grabbed it. Mm. After we went back to it's it. Good a motto times. for life. Also for harassment lawsuits, but <laughs> but before we get to this <laughs> bee infested game, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get to our first segment of the night, which is Basil doesn't know. Nope. Grace, <laughs> what's in the what's star? Star? I'm so excited for this dinosaur. <laughs> Tonight, we have something very special. Very special indeed. So special. Aged to perfection. My very own concoction. Blackberry mead. It, that's why it's in just a green, <laughs> green bottle. Mm. Uh, because this is my mead that I made myself. Mm. And I love this thing. We'll dish it out here. See what the fellas think. It? They've never had it. <laughs> I, there's not much to say about it it's a blackberry mead if you don't know what mead is then just there's like a million videos on youtube you can go to and check out what mead is it's honey wine I like when we do professional breweries we got stories we talk about the brewery steve's like it's a mead what do you want <laughs> if you don't know what a mead is i feel like you, go you, for yours. Let me, let you don't know this. what anything is treat you right baby treat you right. Right. but a mead is We're a fermented honey whole. you put let's, honey let's, let's turn and that water up just a tad okay and yeast <laughs> dear lord and yeast and you have a fermented honey <laughs> so when it when it when it's and, it, and if oh, I'm sorry, when, it, when it's <laughs> we've been drinking, when it's in in its infancy, uh, mead is like jet fuel. It, it's extremely alcoholic, and you can taste every bit of the ethanol. But as it ages, which th this has, this is aged over a year. It smells out. You can taste the honey. You can taste all the other aspects that I put into it, which was roasted barley, honey malt. Uh, clove honey was the base, and um, blackberries. I set it on blackberries for a couple weeks to give it a blackberry flavor as well. So that is that's what we're drinking. It's almost two years old. Holy now. cow! Is it almost in two years? July? It'll be two years old. Oh, that's great! How we almost the, almost the whole bottle. Well, that's because you have all of it in your sign. <laughs> Maurice put pretty much all of it in there. He put a nice chunk in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Somebody call me an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and a good attorney. Because <laughs> even in the Uber, it's going to be bad. It's going to get rough. Well, we got to do this like we do everything else. So mm -hmm. let's try it and see what okay, we Okay, right. Professionals. This is way too much meat. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm, I'm biased, though. I like it. It's so good. Yeah. It's very smooth. This could fit in uh, either uh, a dry wine, but like a dry dessert wine category, or it could fit in a mead category. Like, is it technically uh, a Bragarty Melamel? Sure, it is. Why not? I'll put that in well, there you go. the description. Um, but put a little blurb up for that wherever there you that, go send me a that text works. on that one <laughs> <laughs> uh it's just so when you make a mead if you put fruit in it it becomes a melomel if you put like barley in it you give it another name 
So you could like <laughs> technically get all those things. Yeah, so you could technically combine them and make them, you know, whatever Bragamel. kind of Bragamel. Whatever you want. Mallard. Yeah. Gargamel. Mallard. Like Gargamel. From Gargamel. Sounds go. like a like an ancient book. It Ooh. does. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Basically what it is. I mean, uh, it's basically an ancient to book. To be the the <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the Vikings, when they made mead, they didn't mm-hmm. always just make straight mead. They used herbs, and they did use all mm-hmm. kinds of, they used fruits and all kinds of things in there. Yeah, day. yeah. So, and I just kind of went of with the that. Vanquish. I love blackberries. Tears of the Vanquish. you got to keep and those tears for a while. So I decided mm-hmm. to use blackberries, and I tried, I tried to use a roasted malt, because I kind of wanted like a roasty flavor in there. Mm-hmm. Like a roasted blackberry mead is what I was looking for. And I feel like I accomplished it. I think what you did with the roasted uh, barley, what you ended up doing was you almost gave it like a cask flavor like a wine. I think that's why I'm getting such a hard, like... That makes sense. Dry dessert wine. Like, this comes... I want this to come after a steak with a chocolate mousse. Ooh. Is Ooh. what I feel this Yeah, way, I can you know? feel that. Yeah. yeah, and it's like you did a really good job drying it out so it doesn't, like, hit you. It doesn't punch you with sweetness, but it really... It has just a little bit of like kind of a draw to it. It's like a it's like a whisper of sugar with like a dusting of smoke on your mouth. It's beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I almost swore on camera. <laughs> Basil, what do you think? I mean, Basil, I think is the odd man. I haven't actually asked, asked him how he actually man? Asked him, So what do you think? Let me get another sway. All right. That's usually not a good. <laughs> I fully agree with what you said about it. Like, I don't know whether to classify it as dry, because I get a little bit of that dryness, Mm -hmm. but it's not, like, overbearing by any means. Like, Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. It's its own thing. It's very unique. I like it. Like, it's super easy to drink, Mm -hmm. which is going to be a problem later. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, yeah, I love it. It's great, dude. You did a good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. None of you will ever experience that. I'm sorry, yeah. because there's only so many bottles. <laughs> I almost did the uncer- uncensored version of that. Yeah, it took a, a whole so much thought. A whole so much. But I feel I felt like this was appropriate for the game we're playing, because mm-hmm. bees make the delicious nectar of the gods, which is honey, mm-hmm. to make mm-hmm. this amazing drink. So, thank you, bees. <laughs> to bees. Any bees out there watching? To bees. <laughs> to bees. To bees. So now, after all that rigmarole, uh, time to get to our next segment, which is Once Upon a Strip. <laughs> what? Once Upon a Strip. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> so once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Yeah. I thought we were going to chorus that. That was going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, here it is. I'm about three drinks past a chorus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we were pretty good when we were harassing Teresa. Yeah. Wow. That was a good chorus. It was a cha, good cha, 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 cha. <laughs> Anyways, here's the story. <laughs> Welcome to the secret life of bees. Within our global ecosystems, bees <laughs> play a fundamental role. Flying from one flower to another to gather their priceless nectar. They also pollinate the plants they visit. (laughs) This simple action ensures the growth of flowers and plants and makes an irreplaceable contribution to keeping the world's environment healthy. Bees, the game, invites players to discover the laborious world of the bees. Only those who keep an eye on the objectives will make the tastiest honey from the nectar they collect. Mm. That was sensual. (laughs) That was kind of sensual. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to probably watch this episode later. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways, I think it's time, fellas. I think it's time to grab our steins for this game time. All right. All right. It's time, fellas. Here we go. Right, yep. Here we go. <laughs> so, basically, all we're doing right now, so we have the queen bee in the sky. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, we'll take a look. And uh, we just pick where we're going. I'm going to go ahead and pick first, and you, and then you. 
So All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start here. Oh. Why would you do that? I can tell you, man. I can tell you. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your strategy? I can tell you my strategy. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because well, my strategy is to beat you. Well. According to the score bird, you don't really need to beat me. Score bird, score bird, you don't really need to beat me anymore. Oh, um, here at the score bird. If, if you take a look at the score bird. All the Minnesotans out there, right? that's oh, a shout out to you for the score bird. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I am sorry. fully aroused. <laughs> This is amazing. Scorebird? <laughs> oh, I thought it was him. All right, no, sorry. it's you, baby. Oh, <laughs> you're between us. Okay, so in the game Bees, our goal is to make the most honey. We do that by collecting nectar on the board here, which is represented by these little cylinders. Um, and we have these goals that we can reach to give us more honey. And mm. then we have our secret goals that we can reach that nobody else knows that gives us more honey. The more honey you make at the end of the game, the more, the more win. you win. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever has the most at the end wins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, How's this little chuckle butt move? <coughs> uh, well, it moves every time this little chuckle butt. Yeah. <coughs> this little chuckle butt. <laughs> Moves every time that you collect a nectar, which is one of these little cylinders here. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Um, we'll try to describe what we're doing as we go. That way, uh, if you've never played this game before, we'll, we'll try to help you out. But we've been drinking, so keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. I'll go first. What am I gonna do? Here? I got a lot. Sorry. So we're starting out here. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I got. I got things that I need to do. So I, I know what I want to do. And I've done. Fudgled myself by picking the wrong spot. No, I didn't. I'm good. So I'm gonna move my B. That's how you do it. She's looking. Show, can you show how you're? Yeah. Gonna move so it? I want to move this way with <clears> one <throat> spot. So I'm gonna use this icon right here, which is one and five. The the one means you can move one. The five means you can move five if it's if you can. I want to oh, move yeah. the one. So I'm gonna say, boop. I'm gonna move my B that way. And I'm gonna move one. I'm gonna take one nectar. Boop. And since I took one nectar, uh -huh. I put it in the one space on my hive. Easy as that. Easy as that. Don't you even worry about it. And then it goes in race. Then it's me. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> He's already forgot how to play the game. So. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I just kind of forgot how to plan to the future. Yeah, you do have to plan kind of ahead sometimes. Yeah. Depending on your cards and what's, you know, over there. So I'm curious as to where Mr. B-Train, B-Tizzle as I like to call him, Beefsteak Triple Rizzle, where is he going to go? Is he going to come to my flower business? What What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> talking about basil. Oh, basil. Yeah. Five. One. So I twisty the bestie. One, two, three, four, fifth. Take this little mm, white mm, egg up there, mm, mm. and then you put it in the five spot on his beak. And then you gotta, five. you gotta do. Oh, that's right. You gotta, you gotta move your one, your thing. Oh, your chuckle dick, or whatever it's called. <laughs> What's it called? Nectar. Chuckle stick, buckle, mm -hmm. nectar, nectar, <laughs> nectar trucker, nectar right. trucker. Yeah. So I'm gonna go five. So I'm gonna mer turn that way. I one, told you. Two, Sorry. three, four, five. <laughs> and I'll take. <laughs> you know what? Why was that I'm gonna take. You no, can't. You have to take, take one that's that adjacent one. to you. Yeah. Take that guy. Yeah. So you can't five. just take whatever you want, Basil. Maybe like, I can. Just take. No, you can't. <laughs> and that's it. And that's the. Where thing. do we go? The game's from here. over. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh wait, my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. <laughs> so the game ends once once of our one oh, once one of our trackers gets to the end here, and then we all take one more round. Well, they take one more round. Oh, because he's then, going out first, so... Yeah, whoever gets there. And then it's over. And then we count up the scores. Okay. All right. All right. There she goes. Watch out.
watch it go. One, two, three, four, five. Give me that sweet, sweet pink neck to me. Pink neck to me. All right. Mm. <laughs> That's all I got. Lavender, does that make it less weird? <laughs> Maybe it makes it less weird. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny buddies. They call it the Drunken Pond. <laughs> You're oh, going to lose yeah. all your sponsorships. <laughs> the, big, the big zero that we have currently? Well, I mean, we, we, we've all invested. Yeah. <laughs> you, my by, so by losing the sponsorships, you mean we're going to quit? <laughs> <laughs> because of Marie's? <laughs> She's going to get a text be like, yeah, it's, it's off probably forever. <laughs> <laughs> because of Marie's. You guys will still keep on the show. I'll never know. <laughs> I think you would. I know. think you would. You'd come to the channel and be like, new episodes, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, I would cry for so long. <laughs> oh god. Your shirt, Already? Buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the, the great thing about this game. It goes so quick. It's nice. Yep. I love the, the turns. It's very easy, easy in terms of strategy. Like It's not a multi... Well, game. in terms of strategy, it's not actually that easy. In terms of just moving and like tur the turns going quickly, it is easy. Okay. But strategy, as far as strategy goes, you like you have to like know what the f you're doing or know what you're doing. Steve, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be the bad one. <laughs> no, nope. when are we just anybody but me but the worst one? Drink. I didn't do. Boom. I only did it once. That's right. You only did it once. Why don't you just get off his? F <laughs> I have to cut this whole segment. <laughs> Seriously? Dang, we're almost. <coughs> we're over halfway. I told done you, with this. this is why it's a half pint. Dear Lord, I need to get on track. <laughs> I'm just be floating like around, <laughs> enjoying the bee life. <laughs> yep. That's not what this game is about. This game is about oh. winning. Oh no, I just butchered it. Doesn't yeah, matter. I just mupped it up. I really just muppied, mupped, mupped it. Do I have right to take the nectar? If yeah. I land on it. Do you have yeah. to? Yeah. That's how you do it. Baby, what are you talking about? The win. The nectar is the win. Do you get win. negative points for taking nectar? No. What I don't understand happening? why you wouldn't want What's to take nectar. What's your goal? Oh my god, they're really Do you have like a B racist? I'm very confused. Yes. Wow. He might have something where like his win condition is different. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? You can put those wherever you want. Oh, oh. I can? No, uh, as long as they're in the, the, the number, the numerical correctness. Yeah, you don't have to oh. put them next to each other, you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? It does make sense, but... Okay. It doesn't help. For example, it because of what help. I've done. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's your fault. You played wrong. You didn't play wrong. <laughs> that's part of the problem. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, my lord, you don't have to be so physical. I that bee that. hit that flower head first. <laughs> 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 He was passed out for a second. Yeah. But he's, he's back up. He's back up now. He's back <laughs> like, up now. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay. So, did you know, you probably know, do you guys know, all bees, almost all bees that you see are women. Every single one of them. Mm. Except for the drone boys, but they're only out for like once a year. That's kind of fun. The more you know about bees. Dang, dude, that's solid. You got a nice little ring going. <laughs> Not a little ring going. <laughs> Nice little, little ring. Oh, I did it. I finally did it. Ah, oh, I feel good about it. Wait. What'd you just do, baby? Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Ooh, you give it a three for? I did. Yeah, the three for. So I'm gonna put. Is it just me, or do the threes feel kind of good because they're like only one? You know what I mean? That gets you the three? Mm. Feels kind of. I've only done it once in my Move life. Move your thingy. There you go. Nectar tractor. Everybody been tractor. moving their nectar tractor? Yeah. I believe so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> your turn, Maurice. Yeah. I'm at that point where I feel like the mead's starting to sober me up, and I know it's a lie. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same Were thing. Were Isn't that 100%. weird? Yeah. yeah, you gotta get a second wind as well. Yeah. yeah. All right, you're, I'm you're, done. Okay. Is that it? I think we're all done. No, 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 no. Wait, did you get a second? Did I did, yeah. Okay, yeah. last. Last, last. Boom. Okay. All right. So okay, so we we have finished the game, but we got to count up our points now. We're going to go ahead and do that off camera because 
nobody wants to watch us count points. So Patreon us if you want to ASMR us scratching points into a tiny piece of paper. Yeah, and and debating on whether or not we got points or not. We'll do it for like three hours. We'll fall straight asleep. That's so nice. We'll see you on the other side. All right, we are done counting up the points, and it looks like. Maurice has won with 48 points. I had 36 points, and Basil had 33 points. But he came in with a slight disadvantage, seeing how he had never played the game before. Mm -hmm. um, so actually, he did pretty well. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So um, what, 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 how, how much were, were you and I different? Oh, a lot. You had 48 points. 12 I points. 12 honestly points. thought it was three. You Sorry. did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that was solid. That was really good. He had some uh, good point. Uh, he uh, did both. I think he did uh, really well on both of his hidden ones, and he hit a couple of the uh, the communal ones. It's mostly this one he got because he got eight points with that, so it's double what you guys well, got. He got all this. He got a ton with this yep. and yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. He did a really good job playing his cards, mm -hmm. yeah. which is kind of the name of the game. You got to play your cards. So, um, Reese wins. He's catching up to Basil slowly but surely. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to play three games and Basil's going to be like, the answer's 42, I'm the blue panda, and your mother's a ghost. <laughs> and then there'll be three more things up there. <laughs> the next three games. Hold on, what? <laughs> so the next three games are going to be... The answer's 42. <laughs> You're... You're a blue panda. You're a blue, You're panda, blue panda, panda, and your mother's, mother's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Try me. <laughs> but anyways, that will be that's it. We have finished bees. Maurice has won. And I hope that you guys Yeah. Like well, you what, have to what do happened. the reviews. Oh yeah, we have to do reviews. Oh my god, it's all combined. Yeah, it's like all one fight. thing. Put everybody on the together. Quick, oh, that was very quick. So uh um so on to the review. You guys ready for a review? Yes. Maurice is so much mead. Losing his mind. <laughs> Yes. Mead but Madness. He has got Mead Madness. You gotta put that in the show. No. Mead Madness. Doing that. Come on. It's, it's its own out. segment. Mead. <laughs> we are on to the review of bees here on this half pint of the Drunken Pawn. Bees. Okay. Mm. Well, who won? Maurice won, so he gets to start the review. Go ahead. Oh, I always forget about this part. This is always such an honor. I'll tell you what. <laughs> so, <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm really not kidding. <laughs> Um, I will say that games like this have this beautiful simplicity into it, uh, in it, in them, um, mead madness, <laughs> but, uh, it's a combination of the, the use of primary colors, obviously with its honey and flowers and blah, 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 but the primary colors really pop. And especially with these tiny little, um, not quite hexagonal tiles, but something I guess they're hexagonal, <laughs> complex hexagonal shapes. There's something visually very appealing to it, and there's something very appealing to how the bees move. Even the fact that you have to change direction and then your like course moves all the time, I just, I think this is a great half pint game. Mm -hmm. I really, truly think this is a great half pint game. Basil. Um, I agree. <clears throat> I think it's a pretty solid game. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, uh, I've never played this before, and literally with like two minutes of explanation, I was up and running. So, um, very, very simple to jump into. Um, very simple premise. Um, but uh, I, I, once again, enjoy the colors. Um, I enjoy... You know the the concept of just like some floating bees. It's he mentioned this earlier. It's a very relaxing game, like to the point where you just you know like I'm I'm pretty competitive when it comes to board games, and <laughs> and with this one I was just like I don't even care. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> if you play more games like this. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's not much I can add to this because <laughs> there, the, every aspect of this game is so expertly um, um, crafted. carried out, okay. crafted, mm. that 
it's very hard for me to find anything about this game that I could say I don't like. It's beautiful. The it flows so quickly. Every turn is mm-hmm. like that. And it and you and you know it. You know, it's it's not one of those things like, oh it's all oh, it's my turn and you feel like you're rushed. No. We were just sitting here, we were laughing, we we're having good fun, going each turn, and we were just like, we knew it was our turn when it was our turn. Like instinctively. Mm-hmm. Somehow this game has accomplished some kind of Magic. Like magic, yeah. I don't even know what else to call it. That it's almost perfect in its design. It's very calming. It is. Yeah. And whatever, I don't even know how, why or mm-hmm. how. Mm-hmm. But it's like I don't know if it's the tiles or the little bee pieces. Mm-hmm. You really feel like you're just a bee floating around collecting mm-hmm. nectar, and it doesn't really matter if you win or not. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, that's nice. But. What would you give them pawns, Reese? God, the romance of everything you guys just said. It was so beautiful. It's tough. Call me mead crazy. (laughs) Mead madness, be damned. For a half pint, for me, this is a five pawn game. Basil? Wow, okay. Um, I was going to go four, but I think I'll go 4.5. Um, just because it, like, they made some good points that I hadn't considered, and... (laughs) That's why we're here. (laughs) I, I think I'll, I'll go 4.5 on this guy. Mm. On this game, this is one of those games that comes once in a century, in my opinion. This is one of those games that I could play every day and be completely happy with. Hmm. I thoroughly enjoy this game, and I will be giving it a five. Um, there's nothing that I could say is wrong with this game. It is it's yeah. almost perfect in its simplicity. So, five pawns for me. Man. So, five pawns, five pawns, 4.5 pawns. Mm-hmm. This is a nearly golden pawn game. Not quite. Mm-hmm. Nearly. This is one of those games you really, really need to find and check out and play. Especially yep. with even with kids, any anybody can play mm-hmm. this game and yeah. have a great relaxing time, have fun with your friends. This is one of those games, so just check it out um, for sure. Definitely not too bogged down by rules. No rule checks. <laughs> not yeah. at all. Yeah. We didn't check the rules once, yeah. even when oh, we played the first time. That's wow. Very true. Yeah. We didn't check that's the rules something. once. Yeah, because it's it's simple. And, like, and it makes sense, and it feels right. And even though you guys had been drinking, and in any other type of game, you could have been confused or had issues, not the case with this one. Very, True. very easy to move. It's self-explanatory. Everything mm-hmm. is written out for you. There's no questioning. Um, mm-hmm. The totaling of the points is very simple. Super that's, simple. That's another thing. Um, I think that they give you this. Yeah, they give you this little thing to total them out, and it's not hard to yeah, figure out. It's very simple. You know, all things considered, <laughs> like you make a lot of good points, <laughs> <laughs> and you're making it really hard to not give it the five. What? So Whoa. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the five. This is Dang. a golden pawn <laughs> game. Pew pew pew. <laughs> 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 Basil has Man. decided that he wants to give it a five as well. So I this could is not a think of a good reason to give it any less. To, yeah, yeah, to give it any less. To be completely honest, this game is beautiful. It's yeah. great. It's, it's beautiful. It is, and great. I will be playing this many, many times. And I want to point out too, this this is the um, how they suggest the setup for the first game. Okay, you can set this up any way you want. No way. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They give you. It says in the book you can. Whatever patterns you want to figure out, no whatever you way. want to do. That's cool. You can make your own little garden of mm. um, flowers for your bees. So you can make this really complicated if you needed to. If yeah. you want. That get the replayability. The replay wow. the replayability the replayability is way up there. <laughs> so does it have to stay this like pattern? Not at like, all. You can, can you can just longer. do like one yep. law, line. Yep. Oh dang! Okay, because the bees can move however they want. That's they true. Need to wow. They, they can't be on the same pedal. They can't be on they the are. same square. But yeah, that's the, it. yeah, that's it. I'm sorry, I doubted you. <laughs> <laughs> this game, 
the diversity, mm -hmm. the this, the beauty of it, simplistic beauty. Yeah, it's not like complicated. Like, there's no mm -hmm. like art that's like not at all. Like you're like, oh my god, it's amazing. But mm -hmm. it's because these are 3D. They have little wings. Look at that. They look like little bees. That's actually mm -hmm. honestly, that's a huge. It makes it so much mm. better, doesn't it? Yeah, this like tactile. It's so tactile. It's so visual. It's so. Mm. And if I may, if I may, you listeners, may. You may. Tom Landis, <laughs> um, these little game boards, I kind of love these little game boards. I know, they're simple. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like, hey, we all have our own hives. You know, yeah. we're all our own bees. Yeah. And it was competitive, but yeah. like, Gentle. you know, I did yeah, exactly. Like, I wasn't like, you know, like, oh, I got to. I gotta go after him, or yep. you know what I mean. I know, like, <laughs> I made every move that I planned on making, and you know, yeah, it, you know, it worked out. Yeah. So, well, look at that. please check this game out. This is a Golden Pond game. We will be sending mm -hmm. some awards to this company. Yeah, I think it's well deserved. Well deserved. Something. To next move, you guys, good job. Well done. Mm. You have well up the the. Uh, Whatever. The ante. The ante. Up the ante. Which ants slightly related to bees. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's what that'll do it for this episode of Half Pints on the Drunken Pond. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Please sting that subscribe button. Oh, sting it. <clears throat> but only once, because you only Catch have one Get your little butt up next to it and go, how you doing? That's true. <laughs> yeah. um, if you liked what you saw today, uh, hit that little bell. If you right. want to see what we're doing in the future. And also, mm -hmm. like, comment. Because without comments, I'm a lonely man. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, just kidding. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, all, like, comment. Um, I don't know what else. I think that's it. Like a anything else you guys want to say about these? Was he? No. We'll I'm... see you next time. Here on the Drunk Pond. At the table. Ooh.